that he would do in the same situation? What? Really? Oh my gosh. Oh, we give you praise, Father. <laughs> I thank you for it, Lord. You know, Jesus said, if any man throws up the cup of me and drink, and I'd hear the most people full of rivers and living water, but this he spoke about the guts. <laughs> uh, you could drink any time in these meetings. Holy. <laughs> Uh, I go, hi, have another drink. I uh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, so I want the rich treasury of his glory to grant you, amen, to grant you what? Be filled with the glory. Tell this story. So may he grant you out of the rich treasury of his glory to be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power in the inner man. See, we need to turn towards him, turn towards God. He wants to solidify his strength in you so that you, it can be carried out and perfected in your life. And this is what he's wanted to do with the whole body of Phoenix right now. Come all over the world. But Phoenix is earmarked for an outpouring that is so strong it's going to shock the rest of the planet. There's some people that have prayed this region through. I'm going to say already it is through, but nobody believes that there's no fight to get it because the religious spirit says, you ain't got it, you're going to get it. And my Bible says it's deposited in you. In the inner man, when you got born again, you're in full spiritual stature. Yeah. Everybody's looking for the gun that came. Act like you got it and you get it. Oh, I, is that what faith is? Really? I think you got this thing. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> it's called have another drink. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit himself is dwelling your innermost being and personality. Now, think about his mighty power in you. And I'm, okay, so, I mean, we grew up in the realm of the natural, and we have a personality that's been formed out of natural things. Amen? So why do you think it says, except you come as a child, you cannot enter the kingdom? Think about it. You know, when you hang out with your parents, you become like your parents. And you don't even try. You just pick up their mannerisms, you know, and so forth. It's just kind of the way it is. So you'll talk like them, you'll walk like them. <laughs> you'll talk like them. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, you know I, I realized one thing, something that's kind of funny when I was in high school. We'd always go up to mom and grandpa and grandma's for Sunday. And grandma would say, want something to eat? Dad, I would say no. But you always do that, she'd ask again. Like, I don't know if that's just a Norwegian thing of being polite or something. So I go to my friend's house and they ask me if I want somebody. I said, no. Expecting them to ask again, but they never would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> but that's a mannerism of your parents, you know? We all get those idiosyncrasies somewhat passed down. But see, when you learn to come as a child to your Heavenly Father, then what's going to happen is you're going to be like Him. And except you become as a child and really learn how to walk and talk as a child of God. That's why in chapter 5 in Ephesians verse 1, be therefore imitators of God, copy and follow his example as well-beloved children and imitate their parents. Hallelujah. So, but what, I'm, what I want you to see in this right here is that is that notice it says in dwelling your innermost being and personality. He wants you to form a new person, new personality out of the abilities of heaven. Mm -hmm. Who are you? I read male. Not other, not not physical. <laughs> you know, you can you can read, you know, the thoughts of other people, you can tell them what's going on in their lives. You can give prophetic words, encouraged, then drop down to where they're at and pick them up. 
and blow them into their destiny. You lay hands on the sick, they recover, work miracles, speak to the wind that it obeys. All the gifts of God working. So now he wants you to form a personality with his abilities resident in you and you know his will and you know that you are in a place where his abilities in who you are in him is just like him and now you work with those abilities and help people and walk in love. And when you do that, he fully keeps you so satisfied. It just keeps you tickled all the time. It's like, oh my gosh. I get to preach the gospel. I get to share the good news with signs, wonders, and miracles following. And my father never fails. He's always here. He's always with me. And he's always ready to heal everybody. That's how I know him. And if I get the junk out of the people's lives that block them from receiving, they'll all get healed. See, and then if you practice in the church, they're taught not to believe. What? Because you got some elder praying for someone before he's starting to show himself a prayer and to have some juice in his life. And then everybody looks, well, then you get him, and he's only your nine, so I don't mean it. I mean, so I mean, then unbelief is learned for a Christian. Unbelief cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of the devil. You haven't heard that before? <laughs> Which, well, faith cometh by hearing, you hear by the word of God. Yeah. So then, therefore, unbelief cometh by hearing, you hear by the word of the devil. Mm -hmm. Or that well-meaning Christian. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm supposed to call those things they are not as well they are. Just overlook all that stuff. But so, I mean, you become the average of the five people you hang out with, so you got to choose your friends wisely. Or if they go and ditch, you go and ditch with it. What? No, 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 no. You know I'm a bitch. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. May he grant you out of the rich treasure of his glory. Did you know he already said yes? Did you know you're a temple of the Holy Ghost? You're a temple of his power? Fire up! How about fire and hole? Holy! <laughs> <laughs> My Bible says it makes ministers a flame of fire. <laughs> flame of what? Fire. Anybody ready to get lit? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I like I can preach myself. I've been preaching myself happy lately, and it's like my countenance is up, and I'm just I'm like a Jesus. <laughs> you just stay lit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who wants to be permanently lit? Oh, yeah. Man. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. You already said yes. You know, who is it? He shows up in the Old Testament in the, in the book of Genesis. Your countenance is fallen. Why has your countenance fallen? And it's, why aren't you lit? I mean, Jesus dies, right? On the cross. Goes to hell. Spends three days, three nights. God resurrects him. He starts showing up to a few people. And he shows up to a couple of his disciples that are walking down the road. And he, and he walks up to them and says, what matter of conversation is there amongst you is that as you walk and are sad. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't understand. We believe that the Lord of glory, Jesus, was going to redeem all this. And they crucified him. Well, Jesus knew that. He was a crucified one walking along. What's you sad about did you know I was going to send the promise of the Holy Ghost? Amen? I mean, think about it. Yeah. Yeah. So there's that place that, you know, if I got one foot in the world, I'm going to be sad. But if I come out from the wing, I'd be separate. He received me, be a father to me, and he'll father me in the glory. Father, oh, he's the father of glory? Did you hear that? God the Father is the father of who? Glory! Yeah. Now, Jesus was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so what's the glory? The abilities of heaven. Anybody want to grow up, become proficient, and walk in the abilities of heaven? Yes. yes During the climax yes. of the ages and the maturity of the times? What? Yes, yes, yes. yes. 
Come on. Now this is a get to. This isn't how few, this is a get to. We get to walk in his power. And he, he sent the Holy Ghost to teach you how to do it. One on one. In fact, he said, you know what I'll do? If you ask me in your heart, I will jump on the inside of you and train you from the inside. What? You mean to tell me when you got this deal with God that he will jump on the inside of your body, share it with you, and then teach you to walk in his power? Yeah. And put a rich deposit of his glory his, yeah. out of his treasure house in heaven in you? Yeah. Is that what the Bible says? Yeah. Oh, so therefore you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Oh, but I don't know, I don't really know if I can really let the bold things go. Oh, they'll choke the power though. And so you're tossed between these two opinions like, should I or shouldn't I? Come on. <laughs> Don't be a scaredy cat. <laughs> Don't be fear-based. You have to be faith-based. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, right? Oh, what am I getting strengthened with? The glory of God. The glory of God? You mean it's available? It's a Timmy move. <coughs> Timothy. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you mean to tell me you got this deal with God that if you ask him in your heart, all your sins will be forgiven, erased for eternity? He said he'd remove your sins as far as the east is from the west, and then he'd put his power in you and teach you to walk? Yeah. And take havoc on the one who'd been tripping us up for years? Yeah. It got half of you know, 989 or 99.999% of the people are all hogwashed. The deceit and deception, and we're called to go set them free. And develop a personality of having casting out devils, healing and everybody that's sick, and going into the vineyard and taking cities in a day. Who wants to get on that team? Yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I should read my Bible today. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really going to get anything out of it, really get to go do this stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Lord. I love you. Holy. <laughs> oh. You know, Paul said, whether I be beside myself, it is as unto God, whether I be so rich for your cause. <laughs> All right, so you, so you can help understand this. <laughs> but there's a place that you just get so absolutely toasted in his goodness. That you're so in love, it's like, oh my gosh. All I want to do is be with you, Lord. Amen. Go hide out. And they'd be like, all right, we're going to go take you all tomorrow. Oh, are you ready? <laughs> yep. <laughs> How are we going to do it? Just hang out in a prayer closet called the glory down and watch how it happens. The intercessors. Ooh. Oh, you mean those that learn to walk in power, learn to call the glory? Where do you get this glory calling stuff? Oh, Elijah called the glory down and some prophets that were out of, out of sync from heaven. Really? The disciples want to call a little glory down too when Jesus was going to the cross. True call down fire from heaven. Jesus like, nope. Not right now, I'm going to go uh, my face out like Flint to go put the glory down on the planet. See, he's in the, releasing the glory on the planet. Okay. You don't have to ball and squall to get it. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> he already said yes. He said, take the nations. Yes. yes. I, mean, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's just it all depends on what you're used to. Who, they, who taught you? Who'd you grow up under? Are you fighting to get it, or is it just... Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to have another drink. <laughs> I'm about to get lost in this. Hi! <laughs> Jesus! No, we love you. 
I mean, this is the time. The devil's time is up. The yes. demons have died. Yes. <laughs> They've been taking pot shots and people that don't, and, and seducing people that aren't even aware that that's the devil talking to them. Amen. And the devil makes them think that that's their own thoughts. Mm -hmm. Then they go do the devil things. So the devil can, the, this disembodied spirit has a place to manifest. And so the whole, this whole planet is infested with devils and it's bad to yeah. get clean. Amen. <laughs> I'm not talking Ajax. <laughs> the white tornado. Mm -hmm. I'm talking the glory of God. And the knowledge of the glory covering the earth so everybody on planet earth yes. gets to operate in the glory. Yes. <laughs> You've been called by God himself. He knocked on your door and said, come up hither. <laughs> I don't know if I can let that stuff go yet. I'm not sure if I can trust you. Uh -huh. <laughs> then he talks you into it. Okay, I can trust you. And actually, he puts his faith in you. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so, reinforced with mighty power in the inner man right here. Out of your innermost being. What did Jesus say? If any man thirst. Know that if you're in the world, you're going to be thirsty. You're going to be all beat up. Depressed. Spiritually. Walking and trying to fend for yourself. Groping about in darkness is really what it is. And then, so, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me, John 7, 37, 8, 9. Jesus stood in the last day of the feast. If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. And out of your most sphinx shall flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke of the Holy Ghost, that those that believe should receive. But really, he could have said, and would have said to those that had a little understanding and were opened up spiritually, he could have, would have said, out of your most being shall flow rivers of living glory. Mm -hmm. oh. Should we call down the glory from heaven? See, Jesus, you know, Jesus said this one thing. He said, no man can come to me except the Father draw him. I repent. I'm going to start calling the glory down. You're like, what? See, Jesus, I believe, would go get along with the Father, and he would call the glory down upon the region that he was in, and people would come out of nowhere to the meetings. And that's why when Jesus was going to Jerusalem, going to go lay down his life, that the Holy Ghost said that the glory could cover the planet, but not only cover the planet, but the blood was shed for the purging of the conscience so that we could be in the fullness of the, the presence of the glory without a remembrance of sin. And your conscience could be so, having been made righteous, acquitted, and you being put in right standing with God himself, for whom he what? Justified, he also glorified. Sometimes we call it glorified. Holy! <laughs> but the bottom line is, is that it was done so that your mind could hook into the rich deposit of God's ability that he is going to drop in your hearts. And that you would learn to operate out of the ability of that anointing. So if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink, and out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living creative glory or creative power. Now, we're going to talk just a little more on this subject. Forever. Oh, wait. <laughs> so it says, may Christ, through faith, through your faith, through whose faith? Oh, really? Guard your faith. Build your faith. Because it's by faith you know and be able to operate with it. I have some smallish faith. I know that if I go turn down the light switch off, the light goes off. If I turn it on, it goes on. I have spiritual faith where I go, I <laughs> lift my hands anytime and I can, can. 
release the anointing in my life. <coughs> okay. May Christ, through your faith, actually dwell, settle down, abide, make his permanent home in your hearts. So when he says Christ, what does that mean? Christ, the word Christ Jesus. Anointed Savior. Oh my gosh, I like that. Anointed with the glory. Savior. <laughs> Amen? Because what does it mean to anoint? Smear all over. So, anointed Savior is, to me, it's anointed with the glory, Savior Jesus. Amen? May Christ through faith actually dwell, settle down, abide, make his permanent home in your hearts. May you be rooted deep in love. And founded securely on love. <clears throat> so what does it take to become securely founded on love? I mean, you got to make a choice. Take and study Corinthians 13. 4 through 8. And what it talks about is the parameters of your love walk. And you got to, if, if you, like say, you take and study that, those scriptures in like three different translations or one in particular for sure and memorize it. Because then if you if you start to get out of the love walk, then your mind's gonna go, oop, back up, get back in love. And it'll keep you in love. Amen? Mm -hmm. Love think is no evil. I just thought, oh, stop that thought. Love believes the best. I only see potential in the people. God who calls those things that are not as though they are. The Apostle Paul or Saul was out killing Christians and God believed the best with a murderer and they just killed Stephen or Stephen. And Father believed the best and he's our example. God judged him perfectly in the midst of his idiosyncrasies. And you could say God's ways are higher than our ways. No, his ways are to be your ways in every aspect of your life. So may Christ through your faith dwell, settle down and abide, make his permanent home in your hearts. May you be rooted deep in love and founded securely in love, that you may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with all the saints. <clears throat> you notice Father wants to bring all the saints, God's devoted people, the experience of that love. What is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height of it? Which is 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. That is the parameters of love. That will show you the outer parameters and what, I, what love looks like. And what does it operate like? Amen? Because you want to keep your life in that. Then he says, what? <clears throat> that you may really come to know, practically through experience for yourselves, the love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience, that you may be filled through all your being unto all the fullness of God, may have the richest measure of the divine presence. Oh my God. Did anybody get that? May have the what? May have the really? The what? That you may have the richest measure of the divine presence, mm -hmm. and became a what? And become a what? A body, holy, filled with flesh of God Himself. No, you know what your mouth says. Mine's an amplified version. It's amplified. It's more wordy. Really? That you may come to know the richest measure of his divine presence, become a body holy filled with blood with God himself. Does Father leave his abilities in heaven and just come? No, he brings his abilities with him. Is that why the Apostle John said, Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world? 
You mean to tell me that some of us have been filled with the fullness of God and didn't know it? Since, since we got born again? Because he calls those things that are not as though they are? Oh, you, uh, you mean to tell me there's a God in heaven? And I'm going to say on earth and wherever he wants to be. Spoke planetary systems into existence? Oh my gosh. And he's the creator of everything of heaven and earth? And he made this deal with us? That he would jump in our bodies and teach us how to really live life? If you just ask him in your heart? And get born again and God would come in and, and take out the stony heart, put it in the heart of flesh. But actually, actually God himself would live and walk and have his being in you. I don't think anybody in the body of Christ really got this. Everybody sees God in heaven instead of God in them. That's right. But there's, there's this guy called the Apostle John. Mm -hmm. He said, greater is he that is in me. He came in the place of knowing the creator of the heavens and the earth living on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. If we've been wasting a little bit of time, Timothy, mm -hmm. <laughs> by not yielding, and not, just say, put me out like a cup of wherever you want, do whatever you want. Oh, I'd rather, I prefer the brow sweat. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust God that he gives me to share this body with me, that he can really take care of me, so I think I'm going to work. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did, did he really say that? <laughs> oh, you mean to think I should go to school and work, learn how to live around with an outro? To be successful in the realm of the natural, keep you further from learning to be successful in the will of God? In the abilities of heaven? Mm -hmm. What school should we go to? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm messing some stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean to tell me Rick Joyner wrote a book in, in, in what, do you remember the name of the book where the prison guards were? Uh, uh, I won't say. Were the, were the teachers? Uh, <laughs> Keeping people in the realm of the natural? <laughs> Would they call me supernatural? <laughs> oh, really? Do you mean to tell me if I don't have everything I say when I open my mouth, I'm still a baby, Christian? Huh? Psalm 8, no. Mm -hmm. Hebrews chapter 5. Is there not any of strife amongst you? Are you not yet carnal? Walk as babes and have not learned to talk yet? So Jesus taken, going in, gets filled with the Holy Ghost, Spirit, man of God. Of course, he was totally led of the Lord and totally listened and obeyed everything he said. He did 40 days of water, fasted in the wilderness, put off the temptations that Adam and Eve blew it in. I mean, he just sailed through it like, get me behind me. Is How did he do it as a man? Jesus as a man overcome. Why? So that you and I can overcome as a man. Because we're men. Women. Less of the flesh, less of the eyes, part of life. How did he do it? He had faith in the word. And he spoke the word. It is written. It is written. It is written. It is written. Then he returned to the power of the spirit. Bam. And there went a fame everywhere because... The gods have come down in the likeness of men. The ability of, of God. People are getting healed, set free. The dead are being raised. What is the sign that God's in us? Sign, oh, Paul said, my speech, my preaching, but not enticing the words of man's wisdom, but demonstration of spirit and of power. That your face should not stand with wisdom of men, but the power of God. What? Power of God? Oh, I mean... Not the wisdom of the carnal man? No. I didn't come with eloquent speech and philosophies and... See, this world is going to come running to a demonstration of his power mm -hmm. and his 
demonstrating of his power is about to become on every city block before we know it because the body of Christ is going to get so on fire with the abilities of heaven. Yes. And everybody's teaching everybody to still get it. Yeah. From the outside. Send it, Lord. It's already here on the inside. Act like you got it, then you get it. Holy! <laughs> it's like, come up hither. Read your Bible. Eat the Word. Eat the Word. It's the whole thing. Eat the Word. <clears throat> so did he really say that you can come to know the grace and pleasure of his divine presence and become a body holy filled with blood of God himself? The person living in strength and be carried by him? When you're young, Peter, you girded yourself about, but before long you're going to yield to the Holy Ghost. It'll be like you're walking on water like I did. Jesus speaking. Amen? See, if I'm submitted to the outer man, I'm ruled by the regulations of the outer man. But if I'm submitted to the spirit, I'm free from the regulations of the outer man. Amen. And I'm living in a in, by the law of love, which supersedes it. Then you don't offend anything. And you don't break the laws. Because you're so solidified in the realm of the spirit. If I walk up to the flesh, I'm submitted to the curse. If I walk up to the spirit, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the loss. And, the, and then my body becomes a temple of the Holy Ghost, totally healed, set free, and delivered. And then I can live till I'm satisfied and then my body will have no legal right to give me an eviction notice because by his stripes I was healed. And so were you. So the greater is he that is in you than he that is greater is he that is in you. But now I know about God being great there. But do I know him as the greater one in me cheering my body with me? Holy. I mean, think about it. If you take your mug, have a glass of water. And then you pour some coloring in it and it changes it. You can change the taste of the water. When you when you pour the word in, you can pour it in until it fills you up and overflows. I mean, you know you can go further in a half full tank than a half a tank. If my turbocharger in my car isn't working. I only get so much juice and only have so much ability, but if that turbocharger is working, come on. Mm -hmm. Hello. Mm -hmm. If I'm walking on land, I can't jump on my head. But if I'm in, in a pool, I can jump and go swimming and do things I can't do in the, in the room of the natural on land that I can do in the water. If I jump in a stream or go for a ride on the raft, I can let that raft take me for the ride of my life. If I jump in the river of God, I can go for the ride of my life. I can get out of control and just let me drive. <laughs> I mean, how much to do we want? Right now, everybody's got as much as they, they're allowed them to give. See, he's wanting more to give you more than you're allowed, than you're willing to take. What? Yeah. That's why he sneaks up on you. <laughs> it's like, what? It, it just kind of surprises me. Oh my gosh. Amen? Mm -hmm. So if you come to know the breadth, the length, the depth, and the, the height of his love that surpasses knowledge, you may come to know the richest measure of his divine presence and become a body wholly filled and flooded with God himself personally. I mean, do I look at it like he's going to fill and flood me personally? I mean, be personally, but with his person. You can't separate the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, although they're three distinct operations, administrations. And they really all come as one. 
I just love it when he says, I love you, my son. My father's talking to me. Hello? And then if there's hurt, then there's that place of weeping and healing because of his love. And then the washing of the water of the word. So that I may honor him and present him a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him. Then the Bible says, of course, the Apostle Paul wrote, of course, I believe he wrote Romans, which is your reasonable service. In other words, it's not too hard to do. But if you're religious, you'll grow weary and you well doing, you'll faint your heart and you quit pressing in. Because you just think it's a form of godliness without power. But see, anything you see Father do with Jesus, he will do! Oh my gosh, with you. Anything you've seen Jesus do in the Gospels, he will you teach you how to do what Jesus did. If you seek him with your whole heart. And those that seek him, find him. Mm -hmm. And when you understand that all scripture has been given by inspiration of God, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction and righteousness, that the man of God may be, my Bible says perfect. King James. Thoroughly furnished in all good works. Thoroughly furnished with what? If you're in the realm of the natural, you think stuff. My, all my knees are met. But when Paul said, all my knees are met, it was according to his what? Riches and, oh, riches and glory. That's how his knees were met, by the riches and glory. So that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished and not good works with what? The glory of God, the abilities of heaven. See, you're a container of the Holy Ghost. You're a container of the power of God. You're, yeah. You know, if there's no, if there's, if there's no glass in my, I mean, if there's no water in my bottle, the bottle isn't good to me. But if the water's drinkable, it's like who wants to be a drink offering for the Lord? I do. Amen. Yes. Amen. I do. Amen. He's like, give me a drink. <laughs> you know, we haven't had a whole lot of people out here this week. It's been a little light, but at the same time, you know, the Lord told me when I was over at the Jew church, I was in, I think it was, yeah, I was in worship in the, I said, I'm excited about what I'm about to do with you this week. <laughs> I've had a blast. Absolute blast. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, glory! <laughs> so if it's not for you, it's definitely for me. <laughs> We've been on assignment all week. And things have been unfolding. You know, we're going to do... You know, and it's just like he keeps bringing it. He's just doing it. I'm just going for a ride. So it's like it don't matter if there's five or ten or two or fifty or a hundred or five thousand. We're going to have fun. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be faithful with the little and he's going to give us more and we're going for a ride. And we're going to just get toasted, keep that countenance up and just eat right for our blood time. Then we have heavenly delight. Some will think we're out, out, out there somewhere, but it doesn't matter. Because <laughs> we're, not, we're not about to flatter. Because <laughs> it's got to be about the Word! And getting everybody built up in the Word. You know, Count Hagen to do meetings for two, three weeks. And he'd do healing, healing meetings, he'd teach on faith. And people are wanting to pray for it right away, but he's like, oh, let's wait till him. You know you got it. Then you'll get it. Mm -hmm. Because That's of the repetition good. of the faith. Mm -hmm. huh? Because the word is sown. You know, it's just like Acts 20. Huh, 32. It says, I commend unto God the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give unto you the inheritance that is set aside for those that are sanctified. 
So what is the inheritance? I'm just going to say it's one is a learning to live in a place of intimacy with God the Father. That's one part of it. The other part is being returned to who you were before the fall. Having been made the image of God. Amen? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. See, each one of us have that ability <coughs> to increase our seeking time. In every level of faith that comes in you, every, every word is able to build you up and establish and strengthen you in the strength. Set aside the inheritance that is set aside for those that are sanctified. The inheritance is what? I'm going to say the glory of God. Jesus prayed, John 17, restore unto me the glory that I have with you, Father, before the world. That's where we started earlier. Restore unto me the glory that I had with you, Father, before the world was. Mm -hmm. Right before that, he prayed, Father, that they may know you. That they may have the Zoe quality type of life that you have. And really, that I left and came here. So then he said, restore to me that glory that I had with you, Father, before the world was. And then what? And then later in John 17, it says, sanctify them through that truth so that they can overcome and believe on me through their word. And to those that believe on me through their word, that have faith, give them the glory that you gave me. That thou may be one, I and them and thou and me. So the glory that Jesus walked in <clears throat> before he came to earth, has been restored to the church and I believe that's your inheritance to be as he is created in his image and so father took and did what he released the body of Christ into the fullness of who he's made us to be so it's like father do that Adam and Eve had followed when he made Adam and Eve that Abraham would come in covenant, offer up his son, <coughs> give God covenant rights to come in here and offer up his son, Jesus. And Jesus would go to the cross and die, pay the price for us. Time would keep going. We're at the end of the sixth day. And Father's about to take and do what? Because God who calls those things that are not as though they are, he's about to resurrect everything back before the fall as if it has never happened. Amen. And, and restore sonship in, in his family, yes. <clears throat> in his abilities Amen. to the whole body of Christ. Amen. And we're going to live on forever in love with him. Amen. And he's getting his family. Amen. And he's been waiting 6,000 years for it. Yeah. First, the word says a day is a thousand years. And then thousand years as a day so it's really the sixth day mm -hmm. of creating this family mm -hmm. and everybody's going to live in a place where they don't even remember they ever sinned because mm -hmm. you got resurrected be to the place before it ever happened as a new creation in Christ Jesus and you're in that spot today and all you have to do is wash with the water of the word get over yesterday let go of it the stuff that the all that he has for you in the new amen so guard your heart, run the race, pick up the pace and seek in him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he'll stand up in you like a hand in a glove. Mm -hmm. And do exploits. He is about to provoke the world to absolute jealousy. Mm -hmm. With those that will listen and obey. See, it comes to a place where it's not like... He, it's not like you're not in a place of thinking about obey, obey, obey. It's in a place of flow, flow, flow. It's love. You get lost yeah. in the love and doing yeah. good. Yeah. And it's not a matter of legalistic look at anything. 
It's just doing what's right. And not and, and wanting to only do what's right. Because you're lost in love. So Father, I just thank you. On earth as it is in heaven has been granted. Yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you for it, Father. For all those that, for all those that believe. I thank you, Father, for that your word is alive unto us and we understand it in a greater way than ever before. Father, I ask that the spirit of wisdom and revelation that we talked about in, in First Corinthians, First Corinthians, in, in Ephesians chapter 3, we would rest upon each one of us in Ephesians chapter 1, the eyes of our heart being flooded with light, and that we come to know you in the fullness of your strength living in us. Yes. Not just hearing about it, your strength being released for other people and people walking in the power of God that each one of us individually will learn to walk in your power. Everyone at the sound of my voice, Father, I ask that you turn up your anointing on them in the name of Jesus and that yes. your glory would fill them in strength and their eyes would be flooded with light and yeah. come to know the hope of the call and learn to walk in your power. In Jesus' name, Amen. I thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey. And everybody's that? Amen. Amen. Glory. Anybody got something you want to heal right now? Yeah. Bring it up. Anybody know anybody sick that you call up? Yeah. You're going to be over the phone? Hallelujah. Glory. What do we got? Go right there. Glory, glory. Sister Ruth, come on up here. <coughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Sure, Brad Hurts? Father, I just thank you. I really see the creative power of God is flowing in our body. I command the muscles that are just for the raising your back line up the adjusting. And that thing that's bothering you, I command it to totally heal right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Dodger, I thank you for it. Father, the pain go, stiffness go, muscles relax, whatever the problem is, totally healed right now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Move. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Totally right in. So, did you hear what she said? It's better. But do you think we should sell it for better? No. no. Father, I think I said get better. I said totally heal now. Jesus. I thank you for it. Totally right now. Hold. Everyone hold in the name of Jesus. I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Before I go. I thank you, Jesus. Totally heal right now. In the name of Jesus. I thank you for it, Lord. Right in. Hey, move it. Hallelujah. How's your knees today? Good. They're good. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Good. Very good. Thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the little thing is listening. You think that's a devil? You think that's a spirit bugging her? But I just think I break this spirit of infirmity, loose her, and go right now and chase this thing. Well, I thank you for it, Lord. There you go. <coughs> Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. 
Jesus, Jesus. So did I understand you like to drink the Holy Ghost? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, okay, thank you. Press on. Oh. I thank you, Father. Press on, right now. I thank you, Lord, for filling her full of the Holy Ghost in your name. In the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. Tell me, saturating her. Father, let her form with the fullness of the outpouring of the Holy Ghost now. In Jesus' name, I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you for it, Father. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. I thank you, Jesus, on earth that she is in heaven, fully established in your plans and purposes for her life. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Now it's drunk in the Holy Ghost. Double five. I am Holy. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. He's pleased with you. Did you know that? You do know that. He's got a crush on you too. You gotta know that. That means he's absolutely crazy about you. <laughs> Amen. You know, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy with your mouth and I will fill it. Have you prophesied yet? Yeah. yeah. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. That's good. You do it often? Yeah. Oh, good. If it's not over my friends, it's over people in church. Nice. So you get words of wisdom about people too. Perfect. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> At a young age. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 17. Mm -hmm. My daughter's 17. You'll have to meet her one day. She, uh, yeah. The, you know, that's really good because so the whole thing is that you just want to stay married to the Lord and you just want the perfect match when it comes to that. Yeah, you, know, you don't want no issues. It's like, when I got married, she told me she got caught up to heaven on her first day. And Jesus walked her down the aisle. And I was standing there with Father God. And so she told me this on her first day. And she also had a vision of us getting married at the church altar. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Mary, she's my best choice for you. It's like, oh my God. That was bad. First day, engaged. <laughs> first, or tell them, but you know, Mary. That's good. So you're going to have a life of bliss. You just follow the Father. Day in and day out. And there'll be new explosions of revelation knowledge. And it's going to be fun, fun, fun. And there's that place, you know, people will sometimes go to the school of the hard knocks as they grow up. And, you know, the whole thing is that you want to live in a place where you never get offended. That's right. The devil always tried to offend Jesus. He's like, you know, get after him for the miracles or, you know, with his close friends. You know, you better my brother not died when he's going to raise Lazarus. Stuff like that. But he wouldn't let anything, he understood where they're at, and it was just the devil shooting down and not the people. And people have this lousy ability to get possessed and don't know it, and they take it out on people around them. And so you just guard yourself from all the headache and keep in your heart pure. So it's really good to see where you're at. We have lots for you.
You can have a blessed night. Are you two sisters? Yeah. Nice. So you rebuild you rebuild also? What? <laughs> you prophesy and get words of wisdom and knowledge too? Yes. Yeah. You got a good heritage going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <gosh. laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> Uh-huh. That's awesome. So is there a whole generation of you guys coming up? Mm -hmm. That's good. Because it's time to take the highways and the byways. I know Olivia takes and sees stuff and gets words of wisdom and knowledge to you. Her daughter. But there's a whole army that's about to be raised. Amen. Amen. Did you have someone I would need to pray for on the phone? I'm going to see if she answered the phone. Okay. Anybody else know somebody that's sick that needs healing? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Hallelujah. Anything else we can pray for and agree with you guys for? Everything's Everybody's happy. Father, mm -hmm. just thank you. I take the care of that. Lift it up high for her. In the name of Jesus. I oh, thank you for it, Lord. Father, I just thank you for this healing in her body. In the name of Jesus, cross it out. And I command that stitch, restitch, and I command her throat totally healed right now. In Jesus' name, I oh, thank you for it, Lord. Hallelujah. I oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Anybody else got something you want to heal? I know anybody is sick? We're running out of people to write for. We had a, we had a, where was that girl from? The Philippines? Yeah. We prayed the other morning and then the next time we heard from them, the girl was all healed. Okay, his wife takes him on a medication two but he's going to take prayer for her. His name is Bill. Her, his wife is Cheryl. Mm -hmm. And so, what's wrong with her? She has been in constant pain 24 7 since before COVID, nonstop pain. Father, and just thank you. Just and heard right all of it. Okay. Father, I just thank you. By faith, I lay hands on her. In the name of Jesus, cross the eyes with I rebuke the spirit of the infirmity. I command you, I cancel your assignment. I command you to be loose from her right now. In Jesus' name. I thank you for it, Father. I command all the pain to be permanently gone and her permanently healed. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for it, Lord. So tell me healed right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you feel that? It only went, didn't it? Hey! Anybody else? Timmy, you, you want to come? There was somebody that was watching. Yeah. And she hasn't called back yet. Okay. Hallelujah. You want to speak to her through the camera again? Was it anything in particular? I don't know. There was somebody that called earlier. Okay. There was a, they haven't called back to where we Hallelujah. Let's receive tonight's offering while we're waiting. Glory. Got something? Kind of slow. Hallelujah. You want to pass that? Glory. You are. Glory. Thank you.
Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you. Thank you. For those that sow, that blesses I bring a thousand fold back to each one. And then into Jesus, I ask you to show it to him when it comes back. In Jesus' name. Oh, thank you for it, Lord. How I many know the Bible says you make you a thousand times greater? Yeah. Did you hear that? Where did that come from? After the Lord and Mark in today. Jesus was ordained after the Lord and Mark in today. There's a high priest, amen? So there's a thousand times greater anointing in the body of Christ. Who wants it? Yes. Father, I just thank you for that blessing of being a fine every person at the sound of my voice that wants it. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lazarus, I thank you for it, Father. Oh my gosh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for what you're doing in Phoenix. We thank you, Father, on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Jesus has been granted to us in this region. I thank you, Father, for the bliss, your glory, your anointing falling upon this region as strength. We thank you for it, Father, that, that dreams are being released right now, <coughs> visions. And I thank you for it, Father, that even in the Every day's revival where the anointing would come and people would run and turn themselves in to get the cleansing of their souls. Father, we ask for a visitation even as such upon this whole region within 100 miles radius of where we're standing right here right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, that your glory, your anointing would begin to fall right now. In the name of Jesus, upon every person. And that every person, there'd be a hunger that springs up on the inside of them for you. And they would be, come to know you, begin to cry out, and get born again, and relieve their souls, and, and find that, that they get forgiven, forgiveness, and get totally forgiven and totally washed. They begin to walk and learn how to walk in your power. In the name of Jesus, take this region, Father, and you take and bring it into a place of, of, of like the gushing of God, or the, the, an outpouring that is so strong that. Even the culture changes. We just thank you, Father, that you've yes. done it and, it and it's been released. And it's beginning to happen right now. We, we receive Phoenix totally saved by faith. Every person within 100 miles of this right radius of us right now, we receive every person into the kingdom by faith right now. In the name is Jesus. We thank you, Lord. <laughs> And we thank you, Father, for the intercessors around the world being activated to pray for this region here right now. And we receive intercession accomplished for this whole area by faith in the name of Jesus. Because we know you just sent your word out and put it on the hearts of all the intercessors that are in fire for you that effectually speak forth. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you for it, Father, we receive it accomplished. And Father, we just thank you for drawing people even into this place and filling this place up. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for it, Father. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. We're going to... Go ahead. I get some prayer for throat. Uh -huh. We're going to be here for two more nights, as far as I know. Friday and Saturday. Father, I thank you. So get on the phone, let some other people know. Yeah. All this healing, it can his throat, the muscles, the valves to work perfectly. In Jesus' name, I thank you for it, Father. Totally healed right here. In the name of Jesus. You know, there's just a solidness in praying for people. It's all gone? Yeah. There's just a solidness in praying for people for healing. It's, just, it's like, you know how Father fills your words fat with the anointing? Just bend like that. Just like I've done to do it, but it's just like you just step on that. Thank you, Jesus. Have a way. On earth for she's in heaven to have a heal. In the name of Jesus. I thank you for it, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Who wants to get who wants a fresh touch from heaven? Come on up here if you do. Hallelujah.
You want a fresh touch from heaven? <coughs> Time to drink. Ah, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Timmy, come on up here. You got any, Timmy? Tim, Timothy? Do you see anything? Huh? You, 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 any of you guys see anything tonight? Any angels? What'd you see? There was one standing on that corner. An angel standing in that corner? Not mm -hmm. What's she look like? Golden. Golden? Nice. Almost like a golden statue. Almost looks like a golden statue? Uh-huh. Awesome. Mm -hmm. How long has it been there? Anybody else? Anything else you see? Anything you want to share? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. TV, what do you see? matter because this city is about to turn upside down for Jesus. Hallelujah! Like you guys have never seen oh, before in your life. I've seen some crazy <clears throat> miracles in my life. Hallelujah! And I think you're going to see a lot more. I thank you, Lord. Amen. I thank you, Jesus. Tell what, Lord? Tell me, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She was healed. I thank you, Lord. Do not wait. Amen. Yes, thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Glory, 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 glory. Lord, with that touch. In Jesus' name. Then you want to turn, 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 turn. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I'm going to bail. Hallelujah. I thank you. All right. 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 I think it is you too. Fine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see you in full time ministry. Your day job is probably ill. I thank you for it, Lord, for the supernatural supply. I thank you, Jesus. And I'm sure that's not the first you've heard of that. Hallelujah! I thank you for it, Father, that I've been prophetic and only in you. Holy, holy, 
Mother Earth as he is in heaven. In Jesus' name. He's pleased with you, too. Amen. <clears throat> you guys are blessed. How late? Sir, I break his power in this room and go down. In Jesus' name. Oh, thank you for it, my pain self. I'll get off of that. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Okay, move it. Uh huh. Want me to move it? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what? So here I am in India one time. And I got these kids about this tall. I say, anybody got pain? They're like, I do. So I pray for the first one, Lord heal them. Then I take that one, and I have him pray for the next one, just like you did. And then before long, we had twenty kids healed, and the, and, and the kids healed the kids. Amen. That's fun. Yeah. So is it all good? Yes, I think so. You know so. so. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> You're a little provoker, that's good. <laughs> what do you say to those things that be against you? Huh? What do you say to those things that be against you? What do you say to those things that be against oh. you? Rawr! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. I can't do that. Sure. Sure? Let's go. Sure. Like the, uh, two. Overcome various things physically, uh, mentally, spiritually, financially, and surrender. She wants to surrender that and and do <coughs> breakthrough in her life. Okay. Basically. Hallelujah. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Good. Say, Jesus, mm -hmm. I come to you. I surrender all. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart in a new way. I want to get to know you personally. I give you my life. I receive you as my healer, my deliverer, my provider. In Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord. Now, Father, I just thank you for sharing my faith on my hands on her. I lose, Father, your healing creative power to flow into her body, and I command her 100% totally healed, set free, delivered, and every need met. In Jesus' name. I thank you for it, Lord. <laughs> thank you. Oh. <laughs> I already got it. You got anything else today? Timothy. I've been calling him Timothy. Tim for about 10 years now. Yeah, it's Timothy. 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 So it's everybody else. 
until recently. <coughs> we got a word from the young man who said we need to be called by our full names. Hallelujah. We should start using our full names. So I'm trying to get Ooh. him after the use of my full name. So now I've been calling Brother Jim. Brother James. This is He's been calling me Brother Tim. Hallelujah. What if you're watching my right internet, you need to never ask Jesus Christ to come in your heart. Say Jesus, and you want to, just say Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me of my sins. I believe you died, Jesus, for my sins. And that you went to hell and spent three days and three nights paying the price for me. And God, you raised Jesus from the dead. I receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Teach me to live for you. Teach me who I am in you, who you have made me to be, and give me the power to walk it out and to help others. In Jesus' name, I thank you for it, Lord. I receive you as my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. So I bless you, Father, I thank you for your anointing resting upon those that prayed that prayer right now and anybody else that's hungry for a touch of God. Fill me. Every person that sounded my voice but with the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I thank you for it, Lord. And I thank you, Father, for sending people into their lives to minister your love and unto them in a way that they recognize it and grow fast in the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.